Coming up on ABC 7 Sports Sunday, the Broncos and Panthers touchdown in Santa Clara. NFL analyst John Booty joins us in studio to break down the big game. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Christy Werner Scott, love it when you're in here. Hi, uh, we don't here. adjust the camera. She really is 6'5". <laughs> All right, still to come on ABC 7 Sports Sunday. I think Walt got excited. Morris is coming to town, so he kind of had a little too much fun. You think that was it? I, I think that's the case. Uh, <laughs> Walt made a mess tonight. It was a good mess. Welcome back to Sports Sunday. So if I told you there's a junior leading the country in scoring for college hoops, you might ask me, where does he play? Does he play for Kansas, maybe Oklahoma, or even Maryland? It won't be Vieira, Florida, exactly. That's where the Nats are. 74 degrees, right, Doug? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, pitchers and catchers reported today. Position players not required to report till Tuesday, although some players have been uh, working out at the facility. And if uh, everyone remembers, we weren't exactly here covering the Caps in the playoffs, and that's because, well, they weren't here. Nothing like a big letdown when you make the playoffs consistently, but you don't make it one year. And it's Colt McCoy giving the start tonight, but he hasn't started started in several years, so you got to wonder, does Colt remember what it's like to be the number one guy, and that's not something to be too afraid of, because against Tennessee, nearly perfect, 11 for 12, 128 yards. Well, tonight you can expect one of the NBA's fiercest player rivalries. I'm talking about new wizard Paul Pierce and, of course, LeBron James. Before that, Matt Williams addressed the media. He said he hopes all of his guys are relishing this moment. It's not often you get to play or start on opening day. Meanwhile, you got guys like Ian Desmond and Ryan Zimmerman who say it's just the same old, same old. Marcus Mariota didn't drop down to the fifth spot. Everyone thought Scott McLuhan would trade down for more picks. He didn't do that. In fact, I mentioned earlier that if Marcus Mariota wasn't the fifth pick, then he would add faces to that offensive line. But it's, it's We're not old Gordon. school, though. We're old school. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> that's it. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Welcome back to Sports Sunday. So if I told you there's a junior leading the country in scoring for college hoops, you might ask me, where does he play? Does he play for Kansas, maybe Oklahoma, or even Maryland? Well, I tell you, none of those places. In fact, I'd say he's right here in our own backyard, and he's only 5'11". He's not even six feet tall. He doesn't play for Kentucky or Duke. But he is the NCAA Division I leading scorer. His name is James Daniel, and he's right here at Howard. If somebody told you you'd be averaging 30 a game, leading the country in scoring, what would you have told them? Uh, I'd have said, wow, uh, that sounds nice, but <laughs> let's, let's, let's bring it down a little bit. <laughs> this bison is trampling defenders, averaging 28 and a half points a game. But out of high school, only two offers, Howard, and Holy Cross. Is it sort of like, hey, uh, you see what you missed out on because um, you didn't pick me up? In a sense, it's like that, but it's almost like um, I'm, I'm happy I came here. Um, this is where I was supposed to be. This is where God placed me, yeah. and um, it was, I'm here for a reason. And even though he's undersized, the dream of playing in the NBA has never died. Ever since I've been a little kid, um, everybody dreams of um, last second shot yeah. for the Lakers coming down <laughs> three, two, one. But yeah, of course.